And I don't have an agenda to further consolidate uh, banks. There's been consolidation has been a factor in the U.S. banking industry really since um, interstate banking. And before that, even it goes back more than 30 years. You, when I was in the government a while back, I think there were 14,000 banks. Now there are 4,000 in change. So that's that's going on. I personally have long felt that having small, medium and large size banks is a, a great part of our banking system. Uh, you know, the, the community banks serve particular customers very well. Regional banks serve very important uh, purposes and the various kinds of GSIBs do as well. So I think it's healthy to have, a, a, you know, an arrange, a range of different kinds of banks doing different things. Um, I think that's a positive thing. Um, is it a financial? So I, I would just say in terms of JP Morgan uh, buying uh, First Republic, um, the... FDIC really runs the process of closing and selling a closed bank completely. That that is their role. So I really don't have a comment on on that process. As you know, there's an exception to the deposit cap uh, for a failing bank. So it was legitimate, and I think the, the FDIC, I believe, is bound by law to take the bid that is the least cost bid. So I would assume that's what they did. I think it's probably good policy that we we don't want the largest banks doing big acquisitions. That is the policy, and uh, but this is a, this is an exception for a failing bank, and I, I think it's actually a good outcome for the banking system. It also would have would have been a good a good outcome for the banking system had one of the regional banks bought bought this company, and that could have been the outcome. But ultimately, it, it, we have to follow the law in our agencies, and the law is it goes to the uh, the, the least cost bid.